the planning to use Ebola to institute another lockdown. And that is in plan. And I know it. And now they have started manufacturing concert through the media and even the social media where there is a post put by a media house saying that there are people there and the frustrated people are commenting are all saying bring a lockdown, bring a lockdown. All of them are paid. All of them are paid. Now if the people who listen to this video do not go and actually go to social media and say we are not going to accept another lockdown. We have handled it. This is the fourth outbreak of Ebola in Uganda. Fourth outbreak. All of the other previous ones have been handled without a lockdown. Now, but because certain people tested the sweet nectar of dictatorship, when they put everybody under house arrest, and they drove in the city without dust and without traffic jams, and they enjoyed money without anybody saying anything, and they had people surrounding their radios and TVs waiting to see if the president is going to give, allow them to leave or let them die for two years, where our children missed school for two years. And we have not even been back in this freedom for one year. Remember, we came back into freedom in January, third week of January this year. It's not even been nine months. And they already want to put us back under house arrest. Why? Because dictatorship is sweet. And they tested the purest form of dictatorship. Now, they don't even want... Can you imagine? There was a man who... A taxi driver. Who had reached the end of his resources. His children are hungry. He's there. And he went to listen to the president's speech to see if they were going to release people to move. The president said another, and therefore another, I think it's extended by three weeks or one month. The man fainted. And now they want to take us back to that. I'm telling you people now, there are people who have, if you be dull, you're going to be locked up. And I'll tell you this, there's nobody who's going to lock up later up. But if you get dull, you're going to be locked up. Now go to social media, make sure you tell those blood thirsty mongrels at Minister of Health that we shall not accept another lockdown. We've handed Obella before without lockdowns. There have been outbreaks before bigger without lockdowns. And now when they are manufacturing concerts in media houses, which they are paying a lot of money, to come and create a scenario where people want to be locked down. Is there anybody who really wants to be locked down? Do you know how many people died of preventable diseases? Preventable causes? because they were locked down, when hospitals were blank, because the doctors did not have private cars, so they could not, and the taxis were closed. The patients could not get to the doctors. The doctors could not get to hospital. And people were dying for prevent, from preventable, preventable causes. People, in perhaps even in their millions. And COVID, the official figure was somewhere between 2,300. And are you going to kill another millions of people? over something because some people want to drive in the, in the in Kampala without traffic jam and feel important that they are essential and the rest of us are non-essential. Now I want everybody who is listening to this video to go and spread it and make sure we tell those people, those dictators who are planning to lock us down, that if they want to eat money from World Health Organization and World Bank, let them go ahead. We might not have yet the power to stop that. But we are not going to allow millions of Ugandans to die again from stupid, 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 stupid decisions like lockdown. Very stupid decisions. Okay? Which we have done before. We've seen what it, how, how it was before. We are not going to let our children miss out on, you know, years of school before. I mean, again, we've been down that road. We are not going down it again. And now, some of you, the only thing you might do is just spread this video. That's good enough. Just spread it. And I, must, I, know, I don't want you to spread it because Kableta wants to trend. I don't need that. For your own sake, go and spread it and make sure that you go on every platform of Minister of Health and all those people. People who are suggesting, can you imagine even Honorable Sereko suggesting, lock us up, lock us up. Why doesn't he go and lock himself up in his room? Why don't we do a selective lockdown where those who want to be locked down, stay at home? If you are so scared of Ebola, go stay home. You have the right to stay home. Don't drag us into your lockdowns just because you're so scared. But then, of course, we know that they are being sponsored. People, politicians going around saying, we need a lockdown, we need a lockdown. Now, Ugandans, I am telling you, these people have tested the sweet nectar of perfect dictatorship. When you, uh, 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 somebody sits and the whole world is waiting to see, is he going to allow us to leave? Is he going to release us from house arrest? We are not going back to house arrest. I'm telling you that.